you're in here, I'll be back in a minute. I can't see you. I have to go to YouTube because they did this new thing with the studio and you can't, well, at least it doesn't set up right for me like it used to. So I have to go back in and do some things and I'll be right there. Um, I was just eating an orange. I have orange. Oops. Oh, sorry. Okay. Let me go. Um. Where are we? Oh, I have to go to this. Did you see my Grinch that I made on the on the ornament? You should go look at it. It's on my Instagram. I'll show it in here if you didn't see it. It's, it's the only decal I made right now. I'll, I'll explain it. I got stuck binge watching Mama Ames and um, oh my gosh. And then what, what else was I watching? Something else on glitter ornaments. And then I started doing the Grinch decal, and I started watching that Gregory thing on Netflix. Is that what somebody told me to watch, that Gregory thing? Um, so I was doing that. And what else? Um, let's see, where is my thing, right? So where is my freaking thing? Well, I think I have to go to, okay, hang on. Hey there. Oh, look, my chat's back. I'll be right there, guys. YouTube's making me jump through hoops. Now it's taking me to gaming. This is crazy. All I want to do is get... Channel dashboard, yeah. Why well, won't it just give me the, um, Do they hide? Sorry, I, this I, I, this should not take this long. Oh, and I and then I got caught in the texts, and I'm going to go over some more of Mark and Teresa's because I found some other interesting stuff from 2014. Okay, now I don't know what it did to me. Okay, now it's taking me here. Right now, I'm going to go here. YouTube keeps fixing things that are not broken and not fixing things. They have a new harassment policy because the other one works so well. <sighs> I'm waiting for this still. This is so sick. Okay, now live control room. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. So I gotta go set that it's not for kids. And it, it just doesn't take care of it the way it used to take care of it. So I've gotta jump through all these hoops after I start it. Whereas I could do it before I started it in the um, Creator Studio. Oh my gosh, it's still still trying to load. I'm getting so frustrated. Okay, finally it loaded. This is us. Fix that. Okay. Um, I've got to go in here. Okay, I see you guys in there. I'll be right there. Um, is that even letting me do it? Okay, um, that's it. I'm done now. This video, no, the tags, oh my gosh, just leave me alone. Okay, so first of all, is Eric here? I don't know, I can't see, I can't see the chat yet, I'm just leaving. Okay, so I'm going back to the chat now. Hi, Whisper to Me. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Carla. Hi, Lila. Lily, I mean. Hi, Dude Bro. How are you? I am MC Camps. Hi, Chris Ree. Hi, Mary Kim. Sonia. Sharon. Hi, Mary Warren. Peggy K. Deb on the Move. Uh, I missed yesterday. Probably. Oh, sorry. Yeah, everybody's busy this time of year, Dude Bro. Don't you worry about it. Hi, Kristen. Thank you for the thumbs up. Hi, Flower Girl. Hi, Stephanie. Pat Miller. Karen. Hi, Potter. Hello there. Full glitter inspection. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Robin, Mandy. Just watched. Oh, they came out great. Yeah, wait till you see. I'm going to do decals on them. I'll show you the one I did. The only one I've done so far is the Grinch. I'll show it to you. Hi, Lisa, Nora, Deborah, Carolyn A, Kelly Vanelli, Kelly Finelli. Pat Miller, Suzanne, Bethany, Kathy, Sarah A, Carol Boyce, hello, Flower Girl Phillips, hi, um, I get Suzanne, and let's see, Nerd Love, hi, Pretty in Pink, hello. Crystal, hi. Mommy and daughter, Wilkerson, hello. Hi, Gigi, how you doing? How's the knees? Hi, Lacey. Hi, Mystery Truth Seeker. Hi, your best friend. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Vala. Hi, Mrs. Roger Rabbit. Hey there, Eric. I need to know about, um, no, it's not in trouble. What's happening with Frazy? Because I've been crafting all day, but somebody said during the craft that he was moved. So where was he moved? Can you give me a, a rundown on that? Hi, Leah. <clears throat> Hi, Virginia. Hi, Two Scooter. Two Scooter, I got to talk to you. Hi, Tom Rose. It was weird. 
it's yes to it. Yeah, they, yeah, that was, that was bizarre. Hi, Choking on Ashes. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Lamb Chops. Hi, Molly. Okay, and I think I've got everybody so far. If I missed you, I see you too. Hi, Justin Casers. Hi, Sonia. I got you, Sonia, before. Okay. So what did, what did you say, Eric? Did you answer? In my email? I didn't check my email today. Wow. Okay, let me check my email. I have not checked my email at all today. Uh, no. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. And the, and the longer I don't check it, the more scared I am to go in there and check it. Okay, what is this? All right. Um, okay. I'm trying to find it, Eric. Got an email in here from Jimmy. I'm sure he would have contacted me about this. What is this? Oh, something about the school. Okay. All right. Um, whoopsie. Okay, so Eric, where are you? Oh my gosh, I have so much mail. If you emailed me, I have to get to your email. I'm so far behind. Oh, before I forget, okay. You know Sarah, not Sarah A, the other Sarah, um, she's, hold on a minute, she sent me, now how did this get, oh my goodness, wait a second, it just got turned around. She sent me a pineapple plant. She said, I've attended, I've intended on several occasions to send a photo of my successful pineapple plant. So pleased with all the fresh new growth. Looking forward to growing more and even starting them for gift giving later on. Who would have known had it not been for various DIY ideas you present on MRB? Thanks, Sarah. You are very welcome. Sarah, I'm glad to see this. So let's see. This is Sarah's pineapple. It went on the wrong side. Hang on. So let me bring it over here. Come on, get over there. Um, very nice. Very green. A lot of new growth. Very nice. Very good. Is that your first one? That's great. Good job. Okay, Eric, I'm looking for you. I see Florida death penalty stuff, Eric. Is it in there? And then I'm going up. Oh, I, I see it. It's just, you just sent it. It's not his permanent home. It's a reception center where they evaluate and see which prison to send him to. Where is it, Eric? Denver, Colorado. So he's at the Denver Reception and Diagnostic Center in Denver, Colorado. Okay. And you sent me what a, a picture of it from Google. Okay, so let me see. Um, I guess this is where he is, according to the address. Oh, why is everything loading on the wrong side? Hang on. 
get over there. Looks like a school right there. Okay. So, but it doesn't look like a school like this picture. Hang on. So that's where Mr. Frazee is. He's in Denver. Okay, well, thanks for the update. Let us know when he gets transferred somewhere. Okay, now, hang on for like two minutes because somebody sent me on something, Seaver, a couple of Seavers thing. Oh, wait a minute, Mrs. Roger Rabbit has something to share. These are Mrs. Roger Rabbit's beaded ornaments. You think they need some glitter? I think they would look amazing with some glitter. Mrs. Roger Rabbit with a contrast in glitter. What do you guys think? I think you should try at least one. So you made, that must have taken a long time, Mrs. Roger Rabbit. How do you even go about doing something like that? They almost look like, you know what they look like, Mrs. Roger Rabbit? Have you ever seen the three? They're kind of something, I know that my mother had one in my bedroom at the, in the other house from my bedroom on the lake, right? Three of them, like an aquamarine and something else and something else, and there were three of them together. There's something aquatic or nautical. I don't know exactly what they're called, but they kind of look like that if you had them strung together. I don't know. I think some glitter would be, would be cool. You should try it. That's a lot of work. That's a tremendous amount of work. Wow. I would definitely try some glitter, maybe. Um, let me get back to the mail. Let's see, where's the mail? Oh. What happened to the mail? Now I don't know where the mail went. There it is, okay. Okay, and then, um, oh, okay, I've got that for you, Mrs. Roger Rabbit. I'll do that right now. I've just gotta do something real quick for Mrs. Roger Rabbit before I forget. Hang on, Mrs. Roger Rabbit. Taking care of that. Okay. There you go, that's all done, and that's good. Getting some things done. Hang on. Okay, I saw someone had something. Uh-oh. Evie Scorpio sent me something that said, a murder of a sock snowman. What happened there, Evie? 
Oh no. Somebody's, some, I don't know whose video this is, but it's a cat. And he's, and he's, and he's going past the sock snowman and he's just kicking them right off the uh, thing. I will give you guys the link in the um, chat so you can check it out. I don't want to post it. I don't know whose video it is, but you guys can check it out there. There you go. Um, let me see what else I have. Before we, somebody said, I know two people send something on Seavers. Um, oh wait, April Sunset has something to share. It's our share time. Sharing and caring. Did you, you made that? Very cute. Oh, uh, Filmo dough. Yeah, I think I have some Filmo dough. Very, very cute. This is April Sunset. Ah, very cute. And I think we have one more. <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, very cute. Thanks for sharing that. It says the reindeer is made with a large bell, pom-pom heads and ears, and pipe cleaner antlers. The dog on candy is made from Filmo. Very cute. Let's see. Oh. Okay, now Lisa De Fiori. Oh, okay, I'll take a look at that video. And then I heard someone say something else about Seavers before I get into it. Um, oops, I got another one here. Hang on. Oh, Kathy, I don't have a book yet. Thanks for asking, though. Let's see here. Oh, you're welcome, Peggy Sue. All right, let's see now. Okay. Oh, I see. I, I'll look at that video, Alyssa. Okay, and then let's see, last but not least. Death penalty stuff. Oh, is this about that? Okay. Electrocution. What are you sending me, Eric? Um, okay, I'll look at... I'll look at that later. Um, <laughs> and now, Potter, you're sending me something. Oh, let's see. You found lots of Jane, Jamie. Okay, I'm going to have to go through this. Um, I'm delving into each person. Okay, all right. I'll check out this, uh, Potter. I didn't get a chance to. I've been crafting and lunatic style. All right. All right. So before we go into the Seavers thing, I'm just going to show you my Grinch in case you don't have Instagram.
and then we'll move on to the content rich portion of the show. Okay. Come on, why is it taking so long? Go, show. Hold on, it's loading. Oh, it's so ridiculous. Hi, Linda. Oh no, you have bronchitis? I hope you feel better. What was the consensus? Hi, pink is my RX. Hi, sunflower brown. Hi, daisy love. Hi, Maui Chickadee. Hi, Sybil. What was the consensus on um, on uh, Mrs. Roger Rabbit's ornaments? Did people say that she should try to glitter them? Janelle, I was crafting, then I got into Mama Ames's videos, and then I got into I don't even know what else I've been doing. It's just, it's nuts. Sorry. I was watching something on Netflix, and then, okay, that's... It didn't load. Hold on a minute. Let me pull my thing over there again. Oh my goodness. Come on. What was the consensus on, um, and now I'm probably not going to see it again. Oh, here we go. Come on. On uh, Mrs. Roger Rabbit. What, what about Mrs. Roger Rabbit? Glitter for sure? Okay. She's going to do it? Good. What's that? Did anybody hear anybody just talking? What was the consensus on, um... How's that happening? Wait a second. There's I'm oh, talking. Mrs. Roger Rabbit. What, what about Mrs. Roger Rabbit? Glitter for sure. Okay. Okay. Wait. It, this is. This is playing from somewhere else. Hang on. Did anybody hear anybody just talking? <laughs> Wait a second. I've got to find out where this is coming from. This is getting freaky now. Talking. Where is that coming from? This is playing from somewhere else. Hang on. I think I found it. Okay. All right, we're good. Uh-oh, error, YouTube is not receiving enough video. What? Why is it saying that? What is happening? Is everybody's video okay? You're gonna glitter up your Bath and Body Works? Empty wallflowers? I don't know what those are. Is everyone's working? You see my ornament, okay. Everything's good now? Everybody's okay? I don't know what I'm getting a stupid I'm going to just look what it says again. Oh, now it's okay. It says excellent connection. I don't know what they were doing. Okay. Who knows? I have no idea, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Let me come back to the chat because I can't see. All right, so now 
I'm going to start. You love the Grinch. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Diane. Diana? Diane. Diana. Hi, Diana. Hi, Mawi Chickadee. I think I, I think I got you before. Okay. So... Okay, let's go. Let me see. To the uh, discovery. Okay. There's a couple of things I want to go over on this, on the text messages. There is some text from Mark. First, there's a bunch from Mark to Mimi, which is um, Teresa's mother. And then we have text from him to uh, Seacrest, Van Wassen, Silky, and Torsten. I don't know who they are. Then we've got to a Nancy. Hang on a minute. But that's not who I want to go to. I want to go to now Lisa is the one that brings their food. Okay. And it's like really weird. Because the person that brings your food, do you think they should be signing their sex? Their sex. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a, okay, that was a slip. Do you think they should be signing their texts? XO, love you too. The woman that brings their food. Okay, so her name is Lisa. Oh no, excuse me. I'm sorry. That's not the one that brings their food. That's Lori. I, this is this is the sister. Okay, but she signs it to him. XO, love you too. I don't know if I guess she's just really. I don't send my brother-in-law stuff like that. XO, love you too. Um. Sorry, that was the wrong one. But he is also kind of inappropriate with the one that brings the food. Now let's see. Then we have sentence Laura. But I want to go. There's a certain person I want to go to right now. And then I want to go to. Chef Otto. Yeah, before they had that other one, they had a Chef Otto. Um, that was in July of 2013. And then Wendy, Wendy Wright, isn't that Curtis's sister? Okay, so I've got some text here from Wendy. Let's look at these. Wendy, not Wendy, Wendy. Um, everyone knows it's Wendy. Wendy has a store. Okay. There's a lot of it that's it looks like some of it is redacted, but then it starts. Let's see. Okay. So it starts on the first Happy New Year of 2014 like a year and four months before. And he's five months. I mean, he says, uh, happy new year. And she says, Wendy says, happy new year. And then on 2-2, 2014, Mark sends another one. Happy birthday, Wendy. I know your birthday, not to the fifth, but when that rolls around, I'll probably forget about calling on that day. I'm thinking of you. 
I wanted you to know. Happy birthday. I love you, Mark. And then she says, Aw, thank you so much, sweetie, with a smiley face. Love you too. Tell everyone hi for me. And then the next time is May 11th. He remembers like to send everybody happy Mother's Day. So he says, and he always says like from the Seavers family. This is what I mean like about that guy that used to work at the school. He says, from the Seavers family, happy Mother's Day, Wendy. And she says, thank you, smiley face. Please tell Teresa, happy Mother's Day for me too. Like he's just such a great guy that he, that he always is thinking of everyone and not just saying something himself. You know, it's just, okay. Then he says, next time he talks to her is 12, 26, 2014. Merry Christmas. You're a day late, Mark. Uh, from Seaver's family to yours. And she says, uh, Merry Christmas and happy holidays. I hope you are doing great. And then she says, thank you, smiley face. Then it's her birthday again, February 5th. Happy birthday, darling. Darling, no G, and three exclamation points. And then it says, from Mark Seavers. Not from the whole family or anything. Then on May 10th, again, now he doesn't say from the Seavers family, okay? This is, this is, let's, let's see how this changed. This is the 15th. There's no more Seavers family. Didn't happen on her birthday. It said from Mark Seavers. So it changed. On Christmas time, it was from the Seavers family. On February 5th, it was happy birthday, darling, three exclamation points from Mark Seavers. Okay. On May 10th, happy Mother's Day, darling, two exclamation points. Thank you, she says. Then he says, you're welcome and sweet dreams, two exclamation points. Okay. Now, June 30th, 2015, Mark, I just seen, oh my God, it drives me crazy, the posts on Facebook. I am so sorry, I have no words, dot, 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 dot. Please know I love you, and I'm sending my thoughts and prayers your way. Please let me know if I can do anything at all for you or the girls. I'm here if you need to talk, sweetheart. And he says, let's see, well, on, on July 1st, yeah, no, he didn't send her anything. So he either called back on a burner phone or whatever he did. But he didn't talk to her again. Oh, no, that was it. That was the end of their communication. Then he goes to this Chef Otto, right? Now, this Chef Otto, now we're back at 7-29-2013. And he says, can't talk right now. I will call you back as soon as I can. The chef says, okay. Then the chef says on 8-1, Good morning. Can you please let me know what time would be convenient to drop off the rest of your entrees for the week? On 8 19, 2013, Mark says to the chef, Thank you. That's what I thought. Then on 9 2, 2013, he says to the chef, We're home now. We didn't see you reply to Teresa. Email changing the quantity. What do you have? And he writes back, I have four orders. If the portobello steaks with greens and bean mash and two orders of the chickpea piccata and the vegetable marinara, no pasta. Mark says, great, when are you available? And he says, I'm on my way up to Benita now, so 20 minutes. Mark says, okay. And then on 9-2, He's, um, well, these, these texts look like they crossed. Mark says, what do I owe you? He says, $200. Mark says, how close are you on the 17th? He says, about 30 minutes. And then this auto guy says, $250. Great, $250. And Mark says, great. I will be home for you then. How much? This, so that crossed. 
Then Otto says, I'm here. Mark says, I just saw your text. On 10-1, he says, um, I'm on my way. I should be there in 15 minutes. This chef says that. And uh, Mark says, yeah, how much? 250 Then on December 22nd of 2013, the chef says, I'm on my way. It should be about 15 minutes. The total for today is $476. And then Mark says, I just realized, Trish, can you text me what we did with the mushrooms? I appreciate it. And then the chef said, yes. Scoop out the gills in the mushrooms and fill with the rice mixture. Put a slice of tomato and a sprig of thyme on top of the rice. Drizzle with olive oil and bake for about 30 minutes at 375. And then he, the chef says, thank you and I hope your holidays are great. Okay, then we have May from Sieber's family. Happy Mother's Day to the Otto. I guess his wife is Trisha. And then he sends a message. Now we're back to the next Christmas, December 21st, 2014. Hi, Trisha. Would you like me to mail a check tomorrow? Please confirm the address or have it where or have it here when you deliver on Wednesday, Mark. Okay, and I see this is kind of changing now. 2014, it's, it's Mark. He's making it known he's Mark. Before that, he, it's us, Seabrew's family. Okay. She says on Wednesday, that would be great. Okay, and then, excuse me, it's the chef, Trisha. I'm sorry, it is a woman. I, Otto must be the last name. Okay, so then he says on the 23rd, good morning, would you be available 1015 to 1030 delivery window? That's what the chef is saying. Mark says yes. And then the chef says, good, Mark. Good morning, Mark. I have scheduled for food delivery, and I wanted to know 1230 to 1. This is on 325, 2015. We're getting close to the murders. Worked for your schedule. And he says, yes. I just got your text message, although doctor did call me earlier and ask me, see you soon, doctor. Is that how he's referring to Teresa? Then on 326, this uh, chef, Trisha, says, thank you for the cake. It was amazing. So chocolates and fudgy. Yum. Mark texts back on 326, 2015. You're welcome, but in all honesty, that was not one of her better cakes. Have a wonderful day. Now, what is he talking about? Teresa's? Whose cake sir he's talking? How would he taste it? He's going to taste a cake that he gave to the lady? I don't know. Maybe he gave her only a piece of it? I don't get it. Okay. Then on 4-22-2015, she said, Good morning, Mark. I have your delivery on my schedule between 3 and 3.30. So they're getting two different food deliveries. Please let me know if that works or if you would like me to come at a different time. And he says, That'll be fine. I'll have your check ready for you, smiley face. And that's the end of their conversation. And then we have Michelle Petritus. Okay. So Michelle Petritus, texts with her start um, August, August 8th of 2013. So let's see. Mark says 8 p.m., cool. Then he says, thank you so much for coming. It wasn't necessary, but it meant a lot to Josie. Don't leave your food in the car, smiley face. Okay. And then Michelle Petrita said, she is so grateful. I enjoyed exclamation point. Sorry to rush off. Mark had not ate yet. That's her husband. Okay. He says, thanks and no problem. And she says, I'm not sure when the girls start school, but if you're free, I'd love to go to the range at least twice before school starts in September. He says, sounds good. They actually start on Monday. 
I just need some dates in advance so I can arrange a sitter. And then she says, hmm, so school time, you're home with them? I don't want to make you get a sitter. And then Mark says, I just saw this. No worries. If we go on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, T can watch them. Teresa, is that T? No, okay. Um, so this is 2013. She says, okay. That's kind of weird, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, where are you going, Mark? I'm going to the shooting range with Dr. Petritus' wife. <laughs> that's, that's so crazy. So then she, um, she says, I think Saturday would be best for me. And then Mark says, hey, Michelle, can you and Teresa talk tonight about the range for this weekend? T and I have talked back and forth on dates and times, and I just not remember what we came up with. And then Michelle says, she wants Friday night. I'll let you know if that works. And then Mark says, okay, but remind her that the girls have music lessons at 4 to 5 p.m. Now, why does she, what does she the go-between for? He can't talk to his own wife? She says, I will work till 5, Michelle says. Then Michelle says, Mark is fine with me going Friday night. I'll let you know. I'll let you guys pick the time. I'm not sure when the range closes. Mark says range closes at 9. She just sends a smiley face back. Then he says to her, so where do you want to meet and what time? And then she just sends back, no. And then she says, you decide since you have more restrictions. And then he says, okay, do you have to go home first? And she says, gun is with me. And he says, okay, this is August 30th, 2013. And then he says, okay, I can meet you at the office. And she says, okay, I just need to change. And then he says, I'm here, smiley face. Okay, and then on 9-5, like a week later, happy birthday with, I don't know, seven or eight exclamation points for Mark to her. She says, thank you with one exclamation point. And then he sends a smiley. He loves these smiley faces that he sends. He sends a smiley face. And then he says, I forgot Mark's last month. I couldn't forget yours too. And she says, no worries. We know you care about us. And then she says, thank you for the birthday song. <laughs> Do you think he performed a song for her? And he sends a smiley face. This is all on 9-5. And then he says, you should be receiving a package from Amazon between the 5th and the 12th of September. Enjoy. She says, thank you. And then she says, got it. Going to hustle the homework so I can watch tonight. And he says, you're welcome. And then she said, I've watched two episodes. LOL, hilarious. And Mark says, awesome. It has been years since I saw them. Very glad you think they're as funny as I remember, smiley face. And then she says, I have a question for you about a former patient of yours. And Mark says, T saw a few minutes of one of the shows and was belly laughing. And then he says, awesome, with like 10 exclamation points. And then he says, when are you talking your, L uh, when are you taking, but he put talking, when are you taking your LSATs? October? Question mark. She says, three days. And he says, you're going to do just fine, two exclamation points. And then he says, don't want to stress you out, but I'm not even submitting claims to MDC until government back and running to avoid having to resubmit them later on, dealing with possible duplicate submissions. 
And then he says, now this is kind of crazy, okay? Listen to this one. 10 6 of 2013. Would you like a delivery? Question mark. Delivery of what, Marv? <laughs> I think that's code for something. Okay, and then the, that's it. There's nothing after that. Then 1010 10 on that day, I mean, 1010 10 is the next one. She says, Do you know if T is having group tonight? And he says, She is there now. This is October 2013. And then she says, South Fork Grill? And he says, Home, home on the range. That's an, I guarantee that's another code. And she says, because she says right after that, would love to, exclamation point. I'm on break until Tuesday. And then, let's see. She says, what day is good for you? And he says, I will, and this is still the same, I will have to get back with you as T is leaving for Texas tomorrow until Sunday. She says, okay, let me know, exclamation point. Now, Mark sends her a message. How's your work going, mama? Now, this Mark sends um, messages to people all the time. That's for Teresa. So that might be for Teresa. We'll find out, but I don't think it is. No, it's for her. He's calling her mama too. Just had a midterm, an oral presentation, an eight-page research paper, and a literary argument paper this week. Feeling good, it's all done. And then she says, yes, it is. And then she says, this semester has been very busy, and I've been behind a lot, still managing to get my A's, exclamation point. And he says, awesome, exclamation point. And then... Mark says, this is all the same day. This is all the same day. The range is calling you, exclamation point. And she says, I'm not sure if T told you. I took the LSATs, but then canceled my score. And then she says, scores. And he said, it may sound silly, but I am very proud of you. And she said, silly? I'm going to retake in June. And then she says, couldn't. And then she says, I didn't feel like I did my best. I couldn't get my head in the right frame of mind. And then he says, Briefly, dot, 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 what happened? This is all 1022 of 2013, same day. And then he says, proud of you are accomplishing. And she said, have you picked a date? And then he said, good. And then he said, June, question mark. And she said, I can give you some of my tests. So you can practice. So now he wants to go take the LSATs? I guess so. She's going to give him some of his tests. And she says, it's the only afternoon test. Mark says, thanks. Three exclamation points. And then Mark says, same day, all the same day. I'm going to try to have a sitter come over to the house so we can go to the range. And she says, cool, just let me know when. And he says, K. Okay, and then that was it for that 1022. Now it's November 2nd of 2013. And she says, Mark said you can drop off tool and he will fix his gun. Do you recommend any termite killer? And Mark says, I will drop off the gun oil and solvent for Mark. I just, 
I can't, I can't help but think this is code for other things. I'm sorry. And then um, he says, we are still on for two. I just spoke with T. She says, fine. And then she says, or earlier is done too. And then he says, be over in a few. And she says, okay. And then he says, hi. And then on 11-8, she says, happy anniversary. And he says, thank you. And she says, T's birthday is Tuesday, right? And he says, yes. And then he says, Auntie Michelle, it means so much to Josie that you were able to make it to today's performance. We know how very, very busy, hectic schedule. I guess that makes it all the more special. Thank you, smiley face. And then he said, she really enjoys dancing. I think it shows. Of course, she would understand if you couldn't make it because we all know how incredibly busy your life is. And we are also very proud of your contributing, of your continuing accomplishments to just very, very special that you could make it. Maybe I'm just a little sappy right now, but we're so grateful you are part of our lives. It's kind of weird for a guy to be sending. And then she said, he says, all good. Okay, all good. Now, that was December 14th. This is January 28th of 2014. He just says, all good. She says, wonderful. Then she says, how is Carmi doing? He says, great, watching Wonder Woman now, smiley face. She sends a smiley face. Now, 1.30, two days later. And he says, morning. Do you guys use an answering service for your phones? If so, who? And if not, do you know of one you can recommend? She says, yes, we use a local company, Intercept. I don't have their number on me. If you call office after 10, Karen might be able to get you the main number for you. I can't remember if she has it. I'll be in the office Friday if she doesn't have it. And then she says, this answering service only answers phones. We cannot rely on them for anything else. And then she says, how is Carmi? And he says, Carmi is doing well. She's actually sleeping right now. As far as the answering service goes, Teresa had an idea last night about having a service pick up rollover calls instead of having them go to voicemail. That way patients will not be able to say they left messages and no one calls back and no one calls them back. If they leave messages with the answering service, it gets typed out in an email to us. And then Michelle says, I'll talk to her about ours tonight. And then he says, I called them and if this may work out, they may work out. And then he says, are you looking for another cleaning lady? Ours is working fine for office and home. And she says, after my house project is done, Mark says, okay. Then she says, I'll call back. This is February 15th of 2014. He says, and then she says, hey, I missed your call. And then he says, 2-17-2014, are you available for a quick all in caps chat? She says, now I am. Okay, and then we go to the 23rd of February. We were so great this Mark. We were so grateful you guys made it to the gala last night. Michelle, we hope you're feeling better today. She says, good morning. Please let me know when would be the best time to call you. And he says, any time. She says, because my cell phone reception is so bad, can you call my house? And she leaves the number. And then she says, I'm available again. Call me when you're done and free to talk. And then he says, can you talk? Question mark. And then he says, you know of anybody looking for a medical assistant position? And she says, at school right now, offhand, I don't. And then he says, thanks, talk later. And then he says, sat for you and Cammy is good. Forgot to tell you the other day. Then March 1st of 2014, he says to her, she is still talking about it. Thank you, Auntie. 
She says, you're welcome. And then she sends him a video clip. We can't see it. Okay. Um, and she says, happy birthday. And then she says, LSAT score came today, 150. I'm okay, I will retake it in October. And then he said, yeah, with all these exclamation points and thank you. Then March 17th, 2014, she says, are you free to talk, question mark? He says, why, with the, just with the letter Y. And she says, no problem with printer. It was out of toner. And then um, she says on April 4th, when does T get back from her conference? He says about 1030 tonight. She's very excited about all she learned. And she says, okay, I'll call her tomorrow. Mark says, okay. And she says, have fun. And then on April 13th, he says, he sends a text to her that says, thanks, just thinking of you with a, with a, with a smiley face. Okay, and then Mark sends her a picture. Can't see what it is. Looks like somebody holding a big bag of money or chicken or something. I don't know what it is. It's, can't see what it is. Okay, on May 11th, 2014, He says, from Seaver's family, happy Mother's Day. The range is calling us. And then he says, would you like me to drop off cake now? This is also Mother's Day. And she says, sure, or I can stop on Monday. And he says, en route in five. And then she says, that was yummy. Tell Josie. Oh, I guess that cake was Josie's, was made that cake for the other uh, person. She said, that was yummy. Tell Josie thanks for sharing her birthday cake. Or maybe not, maybe not. I thought she made it. Maybe that's just, okay. Now, on May 24th of 2014, she says, I'm having a discussion on the costs of EMR. Do you mind telling me what you pay a year for support maintenance update, updates and if there is probably a fee if you decide to switch to a different EMR? He says, sorry, I just saw this. About 2000 a year covers maintenance, support, and update software, not installation. The only fee when switching to another EMR is the data. Okay, so they're talking about that. Okay. He says, by the way, are we getting together tomorrow? Does that sound like a friendly relationship to you? Come on now. She says, I'm not sure. Mark mentioned you guys wanted to, but... T didn't say anything at group, so I thought I heard wrong. And he said she didn't think of it. And when she did, she realized that you hadn't said anything at group and wasn't sure that you wanted. We are up for it if you guys are. How was Mark's call yesterday? So now, okay, he's talking about a couple now. So, okay, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt there. Then Mark says, did you guys want to come over for dinner tonight? No pressure. This is May 25th. She says, I'll ask him. Call was great. Okay, and then he says, great. And then she sent a voice message. Okay, and it's transcribed. Thank you for calling the office of Dr. Teresa Severs. If this is a medical emergency, now what she made up his, his it sounds like she made up a message for him. And then again, it's like, thank you for calling the office of Dr. Teresa Severs. I don't know why that's going through. Oh, he's, no, he's sending her that. So he made up this message. I guess he's asking if it's okay. So she says, just following up from our meeting, any news from your phone company about the hook flash? He says, they said they will call me this afternoon with a final answer. They don't think the flash hook is currently supported. However, a call forwarding feature would be like star 7273. I'm not sure if that helps. They can't be worse than speaking with mock engineering on the fr on time frames, apparently. 
And then, let's see, she says, I don't think they're reading the email from Deborah, so they're talking about his phone system right now. Let's see what else. Then Mark says on July 7th, a year before the murders, to her, Michelle, what is the cleansing stuff that we should have? And then he says, never mind, I have hypocleans. And then he says, she says, just heard your message. Whatever BCH he told, sender told you to do is what you should do. It's more of what anesthesia needs, not the surgeon. Then he says, thanks, just didn't want to start his day off behind. I'll be there at 7 a.m., smiley face. July 12th, he says, are you able to receive a drop-off of Hisdale? And then he said, I left it on your front door handle. She said, got it, thanks. And then she said, how is Jay? And he says, she's doing great. And then she said, any word from the Furlong people? And he just said in a smiley face. And then she says, yes, I know. Did she talk to you about the phone guy before she left? And Mark said, Deborah is on vacation until Monday. Michelle says, bummer. Mark says, no. And then he says, they will call her on Monday. She says, your phone people suck. Have you thought about changing companies? And then she said, if mock engineering and the phone comp can't get the flash hook alternative to work, have you thought of going to a company that can? And then he says, which ones or both? Yes, just switch to them in December. And then he says, sorry, I must have lost you, frowny face. Then she says on August 27th, 2014, are you available? And he says, for you, comma, of course, two exclamation points. Okay, let's see here. You know what I just thought? Hold on one sec. Why don't I just, I can, I can uh, hold on a minute. Why don't I, where's my thing? So where were we? Um, your phone people suck. Are you available here, right here, okay? For you, of course. Then she says, with the girls, can you FaceTime? And he says, yes. Now, I'm sorry. If this is about business or something, I don't think you have to say yes with all those exclamation points. He says, should I initiate the call? Again, please. How was new employee's first day, she says. Then she says, by the way, really cute video of Zari on JoJo Facebook. And he says, first day was great. EMD is trading tomorrow. I saw a cute video of Zari. Hope you and Mark are well. She said, I sent a patient to your massage therapist. His massage therapist. And he says, thank you. And who was it? On another note, do you have any HIPAA information that your employees read or watch or sign off on yearly? She says, yes. And they redacted something, okay? It's probably something about a patient. Then she says, taking LSAT today pray for me this is september now we're getting you know closer to the date of the murders it's september 27th of 2014. he says prayers are sent good luck she says i could not email from my office computer security feature i guess so i printed some of our forms to get you started can i drop them off right now i put it at your front door 
He says thanks. Okay, so this is just something about their phone system. We don't need to read that. Then she says, have you and T approved this? Dana would like the script. She says she cannot tell us if it will work after hours until she gets it. Can you forward me what you your after hours message is? And then he says, I will, I will after hours so I can call and listen. T will look at the script tonight. Okay, this is more of the script. You don't need that. Uh, I did another edit. Okay. That's still about the script of the phone. Good. Okay. I'll add that when I get home. Smiley face. All right. Still their phone messages. Okay. Um, then she says dark. Oh, see, these are messed up. Okay. Quick question, what kind of chocolate do you like? Dark. And Mark? Milk. Okay. She says, on our way. Then she says, will you be around the weekend of the 24th? He said, I don't see anything on my schedule, but I will have to check with the boss first. Why? What's going on? She says, I'm going to Chicago for an open house that weekend, and Mark wants to come with me. I need a doggy sitter. He says, I will tell you as soon as I talk to T with T. Then he says, when do you want me to feed them? Dates, time, it looks like I'll be home. She says, we would leave Thursday. I don't have a time yet and home on Saturday. Dogs eat twice a day, poop twice a day. Then she said, if the weather is nice, they can stay on the back porch during the day and then sleep inside at night. And she said, we generally feed them by 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. When I have all the details, I'll tell you more specifics. Thursday evening, Friday, Saturday morning, October 23rd to 25th, I will need you to come. And he says, I will need to come see your routine so I don't change it up. Yeah, I'm sure, Mark. And she says, okay, when do you want to stop by? We will also leave written instructions. He says, we are having a weekend away starting Friday. What is your preferred day and time? And then he says, I just realized I inadvertently dialed your number. Sorry. She says, any day except Tuesday or Thursday. Done at school, now have group. And he says, Aw, oh, I just saw your earlier text. Does tomorrow work for you at all? Maybe I can bring the girls with me as well, as I'm not sure what Teresa has going on. She says, what time? And he says, what time works best for you? She says, uh, late afternoon or early evening. He says, girls have music 3 to 4 p.m., before or after. After, she said. He says, we're here. And then she says, no, sorry, I thought you would tell me time. Mark is on the way home. Can you come by? And then she says, is it too late for today? And he says, sorry, I just saw this minutes ago while driving. Will tomorrow work? If not, maybe after the girls go down. Either one is fine, she said. He says, I'll text you later. She says, I have an appointment in the morning. I should be done by 2. And then he says, oops, I fell asleep in the tub. I fell asleep in the tub. Okay. Just text me when you're available tomorrow. Sorry and thanks for understanding. She says, okay, we'll do. 1018, how's your day going? He says to her, good, I'm home. Can we come over now? Yep. 10.25. She says, yep, I told T. Thanks for taking care of our kiddos. He says, are you guys home? And then he says, thanks. Her text didn't go off. And then he says, would you like some matzo ball soup? It's on 10.28. She says, that sounds great. 
And then he says, are you available for a soup drop off this morning? <sighs> soup drop off. <sighs> she says, sure. He says, K. He says, en route. And then he says, how are you doing? No, she says, how are you doing on the 27th? And he says, I am good. You? She said, better. Thanks for the morning delivery. Okay. Come on. This is getting ridiculous. She says, I need to get my house clean before Thanksgiving. Any housekeepers that you know and recommend? He says, actually, we're looking as well. She says, curious. Did mock engineering start new phone system? He says, no, waiting to hear. Embark for a new install date. Then he says, how are you? 11 16 2014. She says, stressed. I should hear from Stetson in three weeks. I have sent four applications so far. T's birthday's on the 19th, right? He says, yes. She says, my service sucks in the house. And he says, we will talk later, smiley face. Then she says, are you home? I left a gift in the front porch. And he says, ah, she's doing a talk at Iberia bank at coconut point currently and then she says okay you can hide it until tomorrow then she says did you get the gift from your front porch and he says yes giving it to her tonight and then she said "Ooh, I was hoping she got it in the morning I already told her and then she says celebrate however it makes her happy Celebrate? What is she going to tell him how he's going to celebrate his wife's birthday? And then he says, sorry, frowny face. She says, no worries. Everyone is different in how they celebrate. You know why she likes better than I. You know why, why she means what she likes better than I. She does mean that what. Then she says, do you have a new phone system? Not sure what your email says. And he says, no, but our phones are switched back to Embark. We can then reprogram the greetings with the existing system. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Uh, dinner at four, she says. He says, tea's asleep. I'll tell her in the morning. How are you? Smiley face, she sends. She says, did you read the email? Good. And then he says, Stetson, yes, congratulations. And then she says, yeah, the exclamation point. Let me know when it's all set up so I can call. And again, the stupid message, all right? Um, okay, so next we have, let's see. Teresa, this is December of 2014. Five months before the murders. Teresa just made a pot of lentil soup, onion, celery, soup and a clear broth would you like some for you i know mark does not like that but i thought it might be good for your week of finals and then he says um can curran come over after the girls go down for laser text for laser tag is that supposed to be and she says what time sure i'll send him over he says 10 p.m she says we are cruising around Okay. And then she says, I'll let you know when we get back if it's not too late, if it is too late. He says, no problem. Then he says, uh, want to see some really good Christmas lights? Go to Nottingham. It's right off airport pulling, pulling road, Victoria Park, just south of Lockie, Lockley. I'll be on your right-hand side if you're heading south. It'll be on your right-hand side if you're heading south. Sorry about that. South of Imokali. She says, we found it. And then he says, lights on Bonita Grand at Bonita Beach Road are nice too. She says, cool. She says, is it okay to stop by? He says, why? And then he says, ETA? She says, three ETA. Then he gives a smiley face. And then she says, here. 
That was 1219. Now in 1225 Christmas, she says, on our way. And she says, we love the portrait of the girls. And he says, I'm so happy. I was a little leery of giving a picture of our kids to people, but given that you are family, we had hoped you would appreciate it. We are so blessed. Thank you so much. And we love having you over on Christmas Day. New Year's uh, Eve. Let's see. Mark says, good morning. Are you up for a delivery? On my way to work today. She says, got it. Thanks. He says, you're welcome. And January 3rd. Glad you two enjoyed your day. Let me, uh, just wanted to let to know if Teresa left the car charger, oh, car charger, there's that car charger again, for phone and my concealed carry holster in your truck. She says, I'll check. She says, I found the charger. I didn't see the holster. What did it look like? Lou had several of them. He says, it was open-ended that clipped on my waist black. She said, I saw a leather brown one, a black one that looked like the gun in place of a mag holster. I don't remember seeing anything else. Was it in your suitcase? He says, thanks. I will check with Lou. And then he says, no, the burlap bag with ammo. No worries. And then she said, I'm on my way to the office. Is someone home for me to leave the charger with? Then I'm one nine. He says, good morning, Michelle. What kind of knife do you carry when you jog? Does it have a sheath, a single blade, and handle that does not fold, or does it fold open and close? She says it folds. I practice. It can be opened with one hand. I'm afraid to run with a knife that is open in case I fall and land on it. And he says, erg. Okay, I was looking to get you a knife, but I wasn't sure what you need. Why is he buying her a knife? Okay. She says, I'm good. I ordered a holster from Glock. I'm excited for it to arrive. He says, awesome. Then he says, congratulations. This is February now, 2015. She says, thank you. I start June 29th. Maybe that's why he was all upset with her moving away, because he didn't want her to live away from him. Okay, so then um, he says, wow. Now, she starts June 29th. Isn't that interesting when he picked the time for the murder? So he says, we've been wanting to call you guys but had to share this link with you now. And she gives a link there. I don't know what that is. I guess we could look it up. If we, somebody want to take that website and look it up. Here, I'll, let me see if I can, I can't copy it. You have to news, news, PR dot ES forward slash one D like David, R like Robert, I like ice cream, R like Robert, Z like zebra, L like library. Okay. Somebody look that up and see what it is. And then she says, publicity now, that's great. And then she says, maybe some fat cat will just donate the money. Ha! He sends a smiley face. Then she says on February 15th, happy birthday, Carmi. Now something is gone from here. That means they redacted something. Okay? Tell Carmi... She says, I found a place for us to go. This is on the 18th. We need to pick a day now. He says, okay. She says, can you measure Carmi's reaching height? Have her raise both arms above her head and measure the distance to the ground flat-footed. 59 inches, he says. February 23rd. Good morning, Michelle. Are you and Carmi still on for tomorrow morning anything special I need to get I need to do to get her ready she says yes for 8 a.m. I sent T the waiver form so I will need that you might want to pack her some snacks she needs to wear closed toe shoes 
and have her hair in a ponytail. And Mark says, thanks. Then she says, on my way, and she sends him a movie of some sort. I guess that's from whatever they were doing. And he says, awesome. And then she said, did Carmi find her puzzle pieces? I left them on your front porch. Mark says, not sure. I will check with her tomorrow. Thanks again. Lots of smiley faces. She says, Kay, I sent her a text on where I put them. March 2nd, 2015. Happy birthday. Thank you. Then on the 6th, let me know if and when you want to have a play date. Why is play date in quotation marks? Does anybody think something's going on here strange? Because uh, I, I just got the chance to look at the chat. Does anyone feel this is, this is not... And Justin, what did Carolyn put... I, what link? I, I don't know what link we're talking about, Karen. Does anybody think that this is more than, than friends? Why did she put play date in quotation marks like that? Obviously, Mark is stuffing. You, you think she is. The doctor betrayed his wife. It's very suspect. Everybody thinks it's weird. It's very strange. Code speak. Okay. You went to that website, dude, bro. What'd you find out? Okay, so it's not just me. Okay, so this is very strange. Okay, yeah, very. Everybody's saying it's very strange. They've got something going on. It's all code. I think I'd be divorced if I went shooting with any man but mine, right? Okay, it's totally strange. Definitely code speak. It's very coded most of the time. They're playing around. Stooping. Okay, let's, let's, let's go to... Uh, all right. So we're, we're at the play date, right? I want... Uh, let me know when you want to have a play date for Glock and Sig. And he says, yes, Ex oh, she says, yes, exclamation point. He said that, I'm sorry. He's asked about the play date. She says, yes, exclamation point. What is your schedule? I'm pretty much free as long as I know when. Then he says, Marco, is she supposed to say Polo? Or she says, Marco. And then he says, do you want to go down to Marco? Is that Marco Island? That might be or Fowler Firearms? And he says, I will check with Teresa, see what's Saturday on free. And blue, too. And blue, too. And then he says, Lou. And then she says, okay, for the next three Saturdays, I need to be back in Bonita by 4.30. And he says, K. He says, I sent Lou a text asking him how we could have access to metal targets. If we need him there, or if we can do that on our own, she says, sounds good. Then he says, can we do during week so I can utilize a sitter for the girls so as not to screw up T's time? She says, sure. Then he says, great, now checking with Lou, we can use metal targets for up to four hours. He will have to be out there, but we can shoot and then she says, okay, Thursday and Friday this week, I have plans already. Any, if the other days are good? He says, okay, look at next week, Tuesday or Thursday, as Lou only available this Thursday. She says, either one is good for me. He says, Lou said we can have it for four hours a week from tomorrow. Earlier the better. Tutor or then, and then sitter. And then he says, oops, still got to work on the sitter for next Tuesday. She says, okay, I'll pencil in Tuesday. 
He says, have to get sitter, frowny face. I will check with the tutor and see if she can stay until 2.30 possibly, and then the sitter can come at 2.30. She says, K. Then she says, Thursday night is group. I have to cut back on going to going on nights opposite of Mary Lynn. I believe she comes this week, so I would be going next Thursday. He says, K. Then he says, does Tuesday morning, the 17th of March, still work for you? Yes. He asked her, what time work? She says, any time. Then he said, leave my house at 8.30 a.m.? Okay, she says. He says, we are all set. Two smiley faces. Then she says, yeah. Then he says, see you tomorrow. She says, see you tomorrow at 8.30. He said, looking forward to it. Do you have extra magazines for your gun? If so, bring them. She says, yes, I have three total. He says, great. Then she says, on my way. And then he says, Michelle, I just saw the dollar signs, dot, dot, dot. Not necessary, dot, dot, dot. I wanted to treat you, two exclamation points. It was a lot of fun, dot, dot, dot. Thank you for coming, and of course for our chat, smiley face. Oh, boy. And then he says, on 9, on, excuse me, 322, are you able to receive a care package now? She says, I just saw this. I'm not home, but I'll be there soon, so yes. He says, en route. And then on March 25th, he says, you look so happy in this picture. You deserve to be there and belong there. We are only loaning you out, though. She says, smiley face, it was a good visit. He sends back a double smiley face. Then she says, are you interested in attending a mock trial? Jurors, judges, prosecutors, defenders in Miami at the end of April? And he says, send me the info. It sounds amazing. And he says, we can take my motorcycle or your Jag. How come, we, did we see his motorcycle? And she said, cool, I just emailed it to you. And then she said, ooh, well, there will be others. And then he said, looks good. But that is the day T is taping her show in Texas. I won't be able to go. And then he says, thank you, and please keep me in mind. She says, will do. Then he says, I'm going to find, try to find a sitter for the 24th while T's in Texas. I can't do anything by being in Bonita, and the Miami trial mark looks, seems very interesting. So then he says, would we drive up on Friday or Thursday night? And she says, whichever is more convenient, I am willing to do either. This is why they asked if he was having a sexual relationship with her. And then he says, okay. And then he says, checking with Sitter now, Mimi, that's Teresa's mother, Nancy, Tarot, daughter. And then she says, happy Passover. He says, thank you. Then he tells her, Happy Easter. She says, I have a project to do for one of my final classes. I need a volunteer to play a scripted role. Would you be willing to do it? <laughs> has, she says. It has to be video recorded. And he says, absolutely. What is that, five exclamation points? When? She said, I'll let you pick a day this week. We can even do it at T's office or at your house, whichever is more convenient for you. And then he says, as long as it is Johnson and Johnson, LOL. Okay, that sounds like... And then he goes, not J and J. And then she says, I sent you the email script and consent form. Take a look at it and see if you still want to do it. He says, okay. 
And then he says, certainly, exclamation point, but I have been bedridden since Sunday. Some kind of flu. Ew, gross. The girls are going to be at Riverside this afternoon representing you two for our mother's house. OMH is our mother's house. And she says, I'll wait till you are no longer bedridden. I'll pass on getting the flu this year. I'm glad she's a germaphobe there. So then she said, congrats for the girls. And then he says, I think it's nearing the end. Thanks. This is the woman from Bonita playing Joanne Lawrence who contracted the girls because she saw the article in the newspaper about them and wanted them to participate in today's event. And then she says, famous already. And then she says, both the girls and your wife need a lawyer slash agent. Better get studying those LSATs. So now he wanted to go back to law school. Okay. okay. Surprised he didn't represent himself. Two smiley faces. And then she says, how are you feeling? You still bed bound from the flu? He says, best day so far. Out of bed most of the day. Feeling better day by day. Night seems to go backward, but then I rest with all those T's. When do you want to do the tape interview? She said, I'll see how you're feeling Thursday. If still in the, if still in the up, we can pick a day. Great. And then she says, did you guys hear about Amore Jewelry? Oh, he said that, Amore Jewelry. No, what happened? Store robbed. No one hurt. Call when you have time. He's a bit overwhelmed with all of the loss and concern about his reputation. After hours, nobody in the store. Everything taken. She says the incident would make anyone feel violated. I'm sure he is insured and jewelry is really hard to sell and not get it back. Um, pawn shops are watched. I know this won't make him feel any better, but at least no one was robbed face to face. And she says, I don't think the robbery will hurt his reputation. She said, we know a jeweler in Naples who has been robbed so many times that he has bars on his door and only allows people, including customers, in by a buzzer at his discretion. And Mark says his concern is that the inventory or the money, but it's his customers, oh, I isn't, it should be, is, who left their jewels with them that are now gone. And then she says the better he handles the situation at restoring their loss, the better his reputation would become. She says file those, the, the insurance claims right away. He says he's working at it at all. He he's working at all that. He's just concerned about the individuals who lost their great grandmother's ring, for example. He's doing what he can, and his response from his customers has been overwhelming to him, as well. They have been more than understanding. And he says, "Do you know a local medical supply shop? I have several otoscopes that I want to see what's wrong with them." She says, it's too bad this happened. He's such a good guy. I'm sure the police will be able to recover the jewels. I, I used to, I'm not sure if they're in business anymore. Let me get back to you on the medical supply shop. And then he says, thanks. What are you doing today? She says, trying to do some research and write a paper on Crohn's disease. And he says, ah, enjoy, smiley face. And then she says, frowny face, blah. Then she says, how are you feeling? Let me know if you're up for doing the video. And he says, yes, when? She says, you tell me. And then let's see, he says, is there a day and a time that you prefer? I would prefer when the girls are occupied at school. Yeah, I'm sure you would, Mark. She says, you tell me. And then she says, no, I need to sew this week. And then he says, Monday a.m.? When? 
Tomorrow? She says, what time? He says, the earlier the better. 10.30 a.m.? How much time do we need? And is home okay? And let's see. She says, yes, if we can get through it without going off the script half an hour, going off the script. Mm -hmm. And then she said, I would like to do a practice run first, so one hour. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she wants to do a practice run. And then let's see here. He says, okay. She says, so, see you at 1030? Yes, smiley face. Great. Please print, sign the consent. I sent you, read the script so you know who you will be. And then he says, I printed it off the day you sent it to me. Okay. Don't let me forget to get that. I have to submit it to my professor. He says it's on my desk and I actually know where it is. Can I just come to your house tomorrow morning? T is working on a lot of stuff tomorrow. I want to give her some space. I'm sure you do, Mark. Then she says, do you want to meet me at our office? Or we can do it at my house. He says, whatever works best for you. I thought if you were at home and your housework best, you let me know. Our housework, Mark? Okay. She says, okay, let's do my house. He smiley face. 10.30 a.m.? She says, see you then. Okay, and then the next day he says, I'm ready earlier than I thought. Oh, she says, I'm ready earlier than I thought. You can come at any time. I have to be done before 12, so if you come early, that would be great. He says, okay, shaving, then en route. Then she said, you're not going to believe this. The video stops recording halfway through. Isn't that convenient? They have to do it again, guys. <laughs> she says, I have an appointment at 2. I'm not sure when, what time I'll be done. Can I call you to see if you're available? Can we re-record the other half later? And he says, yes, with an exclamation point, instead of like, oh my gosh, how did that happen, right? Oh, really? It didn't record? Are you sure? How you... No, he, yes, exclamation point. That's it's so odd. Okay. Then he says, should I come over? N-I-W. What is that? Should I come over? N-I-W. Now. Now. Should I come over? What does that what does that mean? N I W. His face, Justin Casers. What does anybody know what N I W means? I think it just means now, right? And he spelled it wrong. Okay, probably knowing Mark, you probably spelled it wrong. The one that said you have to read the proofreader to his wife, right? Read the proofreader. Use the proofreader. Okay. Um. Where where are we? Oh, now. She, it's, okay, never mind. She says no. She says, I gave Mark the no cuff to take back to the office. I don't have my stuff for the exam part. Bow. Tape measure. And then he says, to get this done for you. He says, I have a stethoscope and maybe a cuff. She says, I'm done. I have to get stuff from the office and then head home. Do you want to stop by after you drop the girls off to music? And he says, yes. Okay, see you then. He says, I'm around the corner. Then she says, video submitted. It took three hours to upload. He says, wow. Okay, then he says, when is your graduation time and date? 
Did you lose the announcement I gave you, she said. I'm just not at home right now. We're trying to coordinate Carmi's performance. May 9th, 10 a.m. I wonder if he was trying to coordinate something else. Because this is about a month, no, excuse me, two months before. So then she said, uh, he said, front office called in sick this morning, so I'm trying to do this between checking patients in and out. Thanks. Carmi is trying to reach you from my backup office. Okay, and there she says dark again. What kind of chocolate do you like? He asked her again. He doesn't remember that he already asked her that? Smiley face. She says, is tea home? 24th. Then she says, is tea home this weekend? He says, actually, she's in Texas. As we speak, filming the TV show. Yeah, the girls and I are coming home from Orlando right now also. He says, is there anything you need? She says, nope. He says, have a wonderful ceremony. I wish I could be there Saturday. Thank you. Congratulations, Mrs. Petritus. On a personal note, I think things may be getting slightly better. She did agree to read the book again that you loaned me. Originally, she didn't care to, but after some talking, she agreed. Isn't this funny now? See, he's, he's playing, he's playing into it now. This, this is after Curtis's uh, wedding wing. This is May 5th. This is after he asked Curtis to kill her. So now he's covering all his bases, right? Because he's been feeding her some line that their marriage is on the rocks and she doesn't want to do anything and she gave him books. And now he's telling her, you know what? I think things are getting better. Why? So he's going to not be, you know, this is crazy. Right? So... Okay. I think things may be getting slightly better. She did agree to read the book again that you loaned me. Originally, she didn't care to, but after some talking, she agreed. It may be after her board certification on the 30th of May, though. Thank you again for the book. She says, smiley face, you are both in my prayers. He says, thank you. Then on the same day is Josie free Tuesday she says 12 or 1 p.m. yeah I love you both then he sends a smiley face then on 5 where is that 5 7 she says I have your tickets for my graduation and he says awesome she says I can drop them off what time is best he says, I'll be home in 10 minutes and I won't leave again until 4.45 if that works for you. Or I can swing by and pick them up. She says, I'll try for the later, but I don't want to wait if I'm not there. Okay. I don't, hold on a minute. I'll try for the latter, but I don't wait. Oh, but don't wait if I'm not there. Is that what she's trying to say? Then he says, I will also be home after 5.15 tonight, probably until 8 o'clock. Carmi's in a rehearsal from 5 to 8, so that's why I'm gone for 45. She says, that sounds more doable. He says, okay. She says, on my way. Thank you. Okay, really weird. Happy Mother's Day, darling. And then he says, seating will be best at front center stage facing the right. And she says, okay. Start time is two, right? He says, why? She says, we are here. He says, just finished. She says, have you left? He said, yeah, home now. I will pick up Josie at 12.15. Sounds great. Should I have her dressed? She should wear a dress. I think she has one picked out and is probably going to put her hair in a bun. 
Sounds perfect. She says, on my way. She says, I enjoyed the opera. Hopefully Josie did too, even though it was hard to understand. He said she really enjoyed spending time with you. That was pretty cool. Then he says, T doesn't know yet, but I just found it. Crystal just gave her two weeks notice. The search continues. What you did for Josie is so very special. And she says, ah, oh, man, that sucks. Do you know why? I'll ask Mark if he knows of anybody. And he says, I don't know yet. She already, four resumes. Thanks. He sa She says, do you have a booster seat? Florida state law, she must be in a booster seat if she's under four foot nine and is under the age of seven. You may not have one anymore, just thought to ask. And then she said, there is a fine and points on your license if you get pulled over with her in the car without a booster. He says, yes, I do. She says, may I borrow it? He says, I'll drop it off soon. Thank you. And then she says, Mark wants to know if you have any more six gallon buckets. You use them for pool chemicals. If so, he would like one that you're not using. And he says, when would you like me to drop it off? And she says, the sooner the better. Can't go anywhere without it. She can't go anywhere without a five gallon bucket. Okay. En route. See you soon. Then she says, we're having a snack right now. Do you want us to come over after we're done? Or we could stop by tomorrow, whichever is best for you. He says, come on over. We're just picking up the house a little bit. And she says, Zari is almost finished. And we'll be right over. Okay. On our way, she said. And this is uh, about a month before the murder, okay? He says, see you soon. She says, I will drop off the booster seat later today. That's the next day. No worries. If we are not home, the garage code is, he gave her the garage code. The, the husband said he didn't have the garage code, remember? But the wife had it. He just gave it to, to the wife and never mentioned that they had it, okay? She says, K. Then he says, we loved seeing how Zari interacts with her Mimi. She said a smiley face. Then he said, Teresa just read the part of your note that applies to me. And that was very, very heartfelt and touching. It has been and will continue to be a pleasure being in each other's lives. It's hard to write this even without getting choked up. Mark's getting all choked up over something, right? Okay, Mark's crying again. She puts a smiley face down. And then he says, I just got back from the new range, the Alamo. You will love it. Would you like to go before you leave town? I am most easily available Monday through Thursday, 9 to 12, while the girls are in school, except this week as I'm at the office training. She says, okay, let's look at next week. Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday? He says, Wednesday at 9. And then he says, Michelle, I just want to make sure you know I'm talking about a week from tomorrow if that works for you. This is June 2nd. She says, weed, the 10th works for me. Smiley face, 9 a.m. She says, sounds good. Okay. She says, hey, Mark, do you want all my answer book PDFs with explanations for the LSAT? I would have to email them to you since they're on my iPad. There are nine PDFs. He says, yes, with like eight exclamation points. Just want to save time from having to email it. 
I'll just keep your iPad, smiley face. Then he says, that was my attempt at humor. She says, I know. And then she said, I emailed them. Thanks, he said. She said, I will have the jag tomorrow. Ben's is getting the headlights cleaned. What does she have to tell him that for? Also, I have a photo of us from when I graduated. Do you want a copy of it or any other photos before I leave? That's really weird. Okay. He says, absolutely, smiley face. And then she says, Kay, on my way. She's got to personally deliver the picture. Then she says, I can't find my eye protection. Do they have glasses available or should I bring sunglasses? He says they have T-Gem. Then on the 19th, this is, this is what, 10 days before? He says, congratulations, missing my shooting buddy already. Hope you two had a nice drive, but this is why he didn't want her out there anymore because he wanted her back. And then she said, yes, lots of places to shoot here. Hope you're having a happy Father's Day. He says, thank you. It was is wonderful. Family in morning, range in the afternoon, and family again. Yeah, because he's a wonderful family man um, seven days before he has his wife killed. I hope you and Mark had a nice day as well. Home Depot, Office Depot. I'm so very proud to call you my friend, smiley face. And then it redacted whatever she said. And then he said, Michelle, I just want to say thank you again. This is, look at this, look at this date, 27th. I just want to say thank you again for letting me read those books. It's really making a big difference with that along with the five languages of love. Yeah, five languages of love. It's a marriage book, okay? This is crazy. So he's trying to say, oh, he was working on his marriage. He loved her. He would never kill her. Never. Oh, my gosh. He was so, he was reading that book. I hope you and Mark are having a wonderful weekend. She says, I'm so happy to hear this. It lifts my soul. We are making many memories. He leaves Sunday, and I start school Monday. Awesome. 28th. How are you? Imagine Mark's en route to RSW now. She said, Mark just got home. I'm okay, sad, but okay. Then he said, if you ever want to talk or an ear, I'm just a phone call away. T is leaving New York in about 15 minutes to go home too. I will stay in Connecticut with the girls until Wednesday. Take care. The smiley faces. She says thank you. And that's the end of their communication. Right, and then it goes into then it goes into Teresa and him. And we've this is not the part, but Okay, so let, let's just look at that. Um, what do you think about that? Anyone? Don't all talk at once. Chokes on your orange. Considering so many people are very swiftly meted, the death penalty is certain states for what, and believe me, racially biased, I wouldn't, okay. I mean, they aren't exactly the Kardashians. What are we talking about? The sleaze uses right out of the text message. Oh, the sleaze oozes right out of the text messages, Stephanie. Another mistress, grass is greener. I wish there was stuff after. What do you mean stuff after? Well, they were talking in code for sure.
Um, all too nonsensical and time wasting. Carpal tunnel. Montana sky. I loved. My, okay. Why wasn't any of this brought up? They asked him. They asked them if. They asked Dr. Petritus if his wife and and Greg, and uh, Mark were having an affair, or, right? Remember when they asked him and he said no. Sharon says, I think he's a rat scoundrel. And we don't have an interview with this Michelle Petritus. No. Chris wasn't about to read a book. It was tossed in the trash. And he was trying to be slick. We can see very clearly that they were at least friends. Horn dogs, Whispery Me said. <laughs> Uh, you're welcome to Scooter. Sounds like role play sex videos. I agree, weird affair. I wonder if she's going to be writing to him now. The code stuff doesn't work too well. Most was obvious. Great job, Carolyn. Thanks, Chanel. Thank you for reading. You're welcome, Flower Girl. The poor guy has been through enough. What guy? What guy? Dr. Petritus had to see Teresa's dead... Oh, oh, you mean Dr. Petritus had to see Teresa's dead body. And very weird. His wife had the code, right? Soup deliveries? Yeah. <laughs> Got some soup for you. Um, definitely homemade sex videos and not good ones. <laughs> Just the fact that they talk all the time as yes, they sound like they were practicing on how to cheat on your spouse together. And the fact that he was so upset that that, that woman that um, Carrie said that he was so upset that Michelle was in law school and she should she should come home or something. Like he was very, very upset that she was in law school away. She can now make millions on the book and movie. They are having, I told you this, right, that Netflix Netflix is going to do a series on this. And they already flew uh, Taylor, uh, Joey, uh, Joey, little Jimmy Rogers, baby mama, out to California. You know that, right? Wonder if Dr. P was freaking out that his wife was involved. He was talking better to her than his own wife. I really choked on my orange. Sorry, Lisa. Run into the couch, please. It was pretty shallow stuff. Good morning, just tuning in. Was Mark actually cheating with Michelle? And there's text proof. If so, time to rewind. What it would tell? You should probably rewind. I think these are people I wouldn't want to stand down when from, Carol said. It's just crazy. Schumacher, yeah. If you read all this, if you read as all this for your husband, yeah. If, I, if, I, if my husband was texting like that to going to a shooting range and bringing some woman soup, like, who was it, 90, and, you know, okay, because if he was bringing some 90-year-old woman soup down the road or something, I wouldn't have any problem with that. But if he's bringing some, you know, somebody soup that's not, like, and if he was bringing a friend soup and they were sick, okay. But you know what I mean. This is weird, okay? If I'm sending the soup, like, if I said, here, bring this soup over to Lori's house, she doesn't feel good, Okay. But if he's bringing a bunch of soup all the time and then saying you want your delivery, that's weird. Why is Rancid always involved in these murders? <laughs> kind as cake. Um, 
Remember that Sex Lies videotape, that movie? I, I don't even know if I ever saw it. Sex Lies videotape. That sounds like this. One sec. My husband is kind to busy focused on job. They seem to like to go to home on the range a lot. Yeah, like home, home on the range. Oh, heck no, two scooters said goes with the territory kinds of cake. Maybe they were housewife. Maybe they were housewife best friends. Ew. Thinking he was delivering more than soup. <laughs> yeah, he was delivering Mark's, what was he delivering? Oil? Um, something and cleaner? Termite? I don't know. Yes, I remember that movie our very own two scooters starred in that movie. Did she? That's why Campbell's soup is mm -mm good. Where are the deer and the antelope play? <laughs> Seldom is heard. He left the night that the grieving family and girls at his home and went to her house for about three hours, according to the lady that was interviewed. The one that prayed for the house, too. Yeah, Linda. I didn't think he was attractive in the least. Code for when T was not home. Yeah, remember that movie. The movie is going to be called The Planner, The Hammer, The Computer Planner. No, Mark is not attractive at all, so gross. It's 422. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. No wonder I'm tired, Janelle. So we didn't even get to Ray Garcia yet. That'll have to be tomorrow. No wonder my eyes feel like they're closing. I'm, I've got to do a lot of crafting tomorrow. I've got to try to paint little chairs. I've got to sandpaper them because I didn't get the wooden ones I usually get. Carol, the affair is why he sent Dr. P to find Teresa. Yeah, Jeannie. They did a lot of VHS tapes. And Watts movie on Lifetime on the 21st look through the whole lineup and nothing is there. Really the 21st of January? Crazy. Night night time. It is night night time. What do you want to talk to me about? Email me. Oh, okay. I will. That probably won't be tonight. It'll probably be tomorrow. And then if I forget, you can remind me. Ray Garcia. Um, I don't know. It's Ray Garcia. I think I am looking and looking. What are you looking? They're still together. Yeah. And may have tried to get Dr. Betraitis' fingerprints in that scene. What do you think of the new Watts book. I didn't, I didn't read it, Alyssa. I didn't see it or read it or anything. I was so engrossed in reading the texts. Oh, okay. They sure were doing. <laughs> All right. So we'll, we'll, we'll review more of it tomorrow. Um, but I, I've got to go to sleep. All right, guys. Thank you to our moderators. Thank you all for coming. You know, um, what was I going to say? Be safe. God bless you. And love you. Talk to you tomorrow, today, or whatever it is. I might do some live. It depends. I don't know. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.